We're going to take a look now at how we manage library items in DDM. So here we have an example of a spacing collar. So it's a, a standard item that is used across many designs. And we might have fasteners, collars, springs, washers, all sorts of standard items in our database. And we want a, a means of managing them so that one or two users have responsibility for looking after these things. So to set this up, we're going to jump into admin. The first thing I'm going to do is to just make a, a security setting. So when we're working in group owned folders with CAD applications, we should really have this access control set to prevent users modifying items locked in group owned folders. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, and we're going to manage these items within a folder. And actually we're going to use the default DDM project folder as our folder type. So we've got this already. What we need to do is set up a, a role of users who are going to be allowed to work on that folder. So we're going to create a new role called librarians. And I'm going to add myself into that role. To complete this, we need to set our access controls. And it's against the, the default project folder type. And we're only interested in the active state because we will keep this folder active. Okay, so that's set up my access controls. So if we return to DDM, here's the family of items that I want to, to bring under control. First thing that I need to do is to create a new project folder. And this is the library. I'm not interested right now in it being my current working folder, so I'm going to say no to that. So you'll see by default it's owned by the project members. I need to now send that to the librarians. So we're going to send to librarians. I don't need to add a comment because I'm just effectively sending this to myself. So you'll now see it's owned by the librarians group. So now I've set that up, I'm ready to start work. What I'm going to do is to go back to my workbench and we're going to reserve these items that are currently on my workbench into the library folder. And now I finish with these, so I'm going to remove these from my folder. And let's go to the library folder. We'll open it up. And now we're going to work within the library we, we're going to set this as our current working folder. Because we set the security control that we can't modify items in group owned folders, we're going to actually take ownership from the librarians group. And we'll add some notes so we're updating the library. So now I'm the owner um, of the folder. What I want to do is to release these items but I'm only going to release the the instances or the configurations not the default configuration and the reason for this is we might occasionally want to add a new configuration to this family of items and what we don't want to do is have to keep changing the state of the default configuration so we're going to lock down the configurations but leave the default configuration at a work in progress state so let's release the configurations. The effect of releasing those because of our, our built-in rules means that these are automatically unreserved. But I actually want to keep these reserved into this folder so that other users don't reserve them to their projects. We want to keep these locked in our library folder. So let's say reserve back into the library and we're now back to the condition that we need to leave this library in. So let's take a look at adding a part to this library. So we're going to jump back to SolidWorks and we're going to load the default configuration, which is this one here. And remember, the library is the current working folder. So we open this. 
and we're just going to add a new configuration M4 by 16 millimeter spacing collar. Just modify our configuration. Sixteen millimeters, and then from the PDM integrator menu, save current configuration. Give it a number. And we'll save it back. So our configuration is saved. If we jump back into DDM and let's open the library folder so we can see our new configuration has been added. So now we've added this we need to release it so let's just release this configuration. And again, you'll see the whole family gets unreserved. So let's just lock that down again. So we put our locks back in place. So we now have the configurations that our users uh, will use in their designs released. And we have our default configuration locked into the library so that we can in the future add new instances. So we're going to return this folder to the librarian group. And then if we jump back to DDM, we can now set our workbench back as our current working folder.